Hey guys, what's up? My name is PA and uh, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to do a sound comparison uh, between uh, these two Rode mics. The Rode uh, NT-USB and the Rode NT-1A. And uh, they're pretty much the same but different. And as a bonus I have this uh, lav mic uh, Boyar BY M1 to compare to also. And, uh, if we start with the setup I'm using here, this is a USB mic and it's directly connected to one computer. I use Audacity to record and uh, this one is connected to my audio interface with an XLR cable, which is a Bering Air UMC 404 legacy version and uh, this one is Phantom powered with 48 volts. So. This one is nice because you can uh, connect it to your computer through the USB port and um, you're good to go. And this one you need uh, extra equipment to get sound from. Uh, in, in my case I use uh, an audio interface but you can also use a mixer. But you also need phantom power from this to get it to work properly so there's a big difference there. And uh, of course if you just want to um, record uh, YouTube videos when you talk and uh, do stuff like I do now, I think the NT-USB probably is the best choice for you. But if you have a home studio and making music and recording vocals or acoustic instruments or so, I would say that the NT-1A is the better choice. So one uh, big problem I have uh, had before I bought this mic is that when I recorded with traction I use ASIO drivers for my sound card and I can't uh, use the sound card and the microphone at the same time so that was a big uh, hiccup for me and uh, that's why I bought this mic so I can uh, also record vocals so something to think about actually and uh, I'm not going to talk so much about technical specifications. Um, I'm just going to flip the audio here from one mic to another so you can compare. And uh, as far as the price goes, this is around uh, 210 US dollars a two man, and uh, this is around 217 dollars a two man, and uh, this is around 70 dollars at uh, AliExpress. So it's a real cheap microphone. But it's uh, good to have uh, backup audio when you record. So you record at uh, these two places at the same time in case of something happens. So, and uh, I don't think I have so much more to add. I really like all three mics actually. The Boya BY M1 mic is surprisingly good for the price and uh, this one I really like because it gives me a warm, crisp sound when I talk, and uh, this is equal, I guess. Uh, but it's, uh, but they are for different purposes. So that's one thing to have in a backpack when you buy one. What are you going to use your microphone for? So what do you get when you buy these microphones? When you buy the NT USB, you get the microphone, of course. You get a pop shield, you get this uh, little tripod, and uh, also six meters of uh, USB cable. And uh, when you buy the NT1A, you get the pop shield, shock mount, microphone, and six meters of XLR cable. And uh, as a coincidence, the Boya BY M1 microphone also comes with six meter cables. So, this seems to be a common thing about microphones. Yeah, just one more thing. Uh, I decided when I am uh, in post-production that I am not going to use any effects or equalizers on the microphone. So the sound you hear is the real sound that comes from the mics as they are. So yeah. And uh, that's pretty much everything for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a thumbs up and uh, also subscribe to my channel. And I uh, see you next time. Bye.